Okay, today we're going to talk about chapter 7.3, which is matrix equations uh, and the inverse. So matrix equations are another way of writing a system of equations. Now, just like a normal equation, um, matrix equations can be um, or are written. Um, are written AX equals B. Um, where A and B are matrix, so um, A and B are number matrices, and X is a variable matrix. Okay, and here, okay, so here I have our normal system of equations, and I kind of split those up into two different matrices. So I've got this matrix right here, uh, and then the solutions here. But I can further split this matrix up into this would be your A, your X, and your B, okay? So we've got these two matrices together will form this matrix equation. Um, if I take it and we'll go Two, negative three, one, and five, and then x, y. So then you're multiplying two and x and negative three and y, you get two x minus three y, which is exactly what we had up here. Okay, so we're just kind of splitting it up a little differently. And my goal then would be to figure out what is this? Uh, what are these? numbers okay I want to know what are those numbers and we're going to use matrix matrices to uh, do that so write each system as a matrix equation so again um, we just write our coefficients so 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 and then we write our variables and whatever variable goes here on the left will go at the top and it'll go in order as you go across. And then your solution matrix, which is 5 and 3. And that's how you write it as a matrix equation. So we'll do the next one here. Again, our coefficients 3, minus 2, and 4. I get a 0 because it's not there. 1, minus 3. 7, 0, minus 1. My variables are x, y, z. And then my solutions, 5, and minus 2, and 1. And again, our goal here in a little bit is to be able to solve uh, for this matrix right here. Now, on this one's a little bit tricky because my solutions are all zeros. Well, in order to kind of get rid of that or put something there, we're going to move these numbers to the other side. So I've got 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 3, 1. And then our Variables are x1, x2, x3. And my solutions here are 3, minus 5, and 2. They're opposite because I'm moving, again, I'm moving uh, over there to the other side. Okay, so that's how we set it up into a matrix equation. Now, solving for x in a matrix equation. Now, let's just walk through a very simple equation. Let's say um, 3x equals 9. Okay. Uh, normally, we just say divide by divide by 3 on both sides, and x equals 3. Well, let's kind of back up just a little bit and talk about why can I divide this by 3. Well, if we come back up here, we notice that I'm multiplying by 3. Well, in order to undo that multiplication, we have to do the inverse of it. So we can multiply again, 
but we got to multiply by the inverse of this three, which is one third. Which multiplying by one third is essentially dividing by three. So if we multiply this side by one third, we're going to multiply this side by one third, and then again, x equals or x equals three. So the concept is is doing this inverse. So if we come back over here, we can't just divide by a because a and b are matrices. Okay, those are matrices. So I can't divide. So in order to kind of get rid of this, we're going to have to do the inverse of A. Okay, we'll multiply by the inverse of those. And uh, the negative one represents the inverse. So if I do the inverse of A over here, i got to do the inverse of A over here. And notice the order of these matter. Okay, they're both in front. We have something that's called front and back multiplication. Uh, just for this in front, that um, AB does not always equal BA. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we line those up accordingly. Okay, so then on this left side, these two cancel out. So your A and your A inverse cancel, we're left with X, and then we've got to find uh, A inverse times B. Now, again, this is a situation right here uh, because we don't necessarily know what A inverse is. So our goal now is how do I find this A inverse or the inverse of A matrix? Uh, so a couple things we need to co cover before we find the inverse. Uh, the mul multiplicative identity matrix is a matrix that when multiplied you get back the original matrix. Uh, so here is this we call I2, the identity of a 2 by 2 and this is the identity of three by three. We also have I one, which is one. Okay. And when I take a, a matrix times these, I get back that original matrix. Just like if I take three X equals three, well, X equals one, one is the multiplicative identity. If I take three plus, uh, three plus X equals uh, three X's, Zero, zero is the additive identity. The same same concept applies to uh, to matrices. And the identity is always a square matrix. Uh, so multiply the matrix by its identity. So this here is a two by three matrix. Let's call this matrix A. So we can either take A times I or I times A. If I take A times I, that is a 2 by 3. So in this case, the identity is going to have to be a 3 by 3. If we take a second, that's a 2 by 3. I, in this case, is going to have to be a 2 by 2. Why? Well, remember, these need to match up. These inside two numbers have to match up. So if we take a times i, and it's minus 2, 3, 4, 7, 1, minus 1. I is a 3 by 3, so that's 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. And then we do the multiplication. So I pair these up there and there, and then I add it. So notice when I pair up right here, I kind of go up and around here. I'm multiplying by zeros. So those go away, those go away, and I'm only left with those first two numbers. Okay. Now, when I go into this second column here, okay, the first one becomes zero, and the last one becomes zero. So I only have this four and seven, and then this should be a one right here. Okay, one. And so this first, column becomes zero, the second column becomes zero, and the last row is what I'm left with. So again, uh, you can see that this is now the original. And if we do it the other direction, we'll have our two by two identity first, and then our matrix. Okay, and we can kind of read it the same way. When I go here, I'll take this times zero, so all of these become zero. And I take one times this, so it's itself, and I have nothing to add together. 
Neg two over and one, and then zero times this top row will be zeros, and one times the bottom row will be itself, and I got nothing to add. Okay, so again, I get back the original. Okay, so anytime I multiply by the identity, you're just getting back uh, the original. Inverse of a square matrix. Okay, we use these two kind of properties here um, to help us find the inverse. Uh, so we're going to say that A times its inverse will give you an identity, and A inverse times A will also give you an identity. Uh, to solve, we'll solve one of these to find the inverse matrix. So we're, we're kind of, we know what A is, we know what identity, what an identity is, so now our only variable is that inverse. So only squared matrices have inverses, but not all uh, square matrices will have one. And we'll look at one later on where it is square. So it could have one, but it ends up not having an inverse. So verify that these matrices are inverses. Well, remember, A times A inverse has to be an identity. And again, A inverse times A also has to be identity. And we, I like to do both because not always, I'm trying to show you that maybe not always will these be the same. Okay, so we'll take, uh, this will be A times A inverse. So this is one, two, three, and five. And this is the A inverse, negative five, two, three, minus one. So we'll get uh, minus five and six. So minus five plus six is one. We get three and negative three, that's zero. We get negative 10 and 10, that's zero. We get six and minus five, which is one. So that is an identity. So that direction works. So then if we go the other direction, so this is the inverse. And this is the original. So then we kind of cross over here. So this is negative 5 and 6, that's 1. This is negative 15 and 15, that's 0. 2 and negative 2 is 0. 6 minus 5 is 1. Uh, so because I've got identities in both spots, uh, these two matrices are. So yes, they are. They are inverse because of what I just did. So the product of a matrix and its inverse is the identity matrix. So this is this is a this is A inverse, and this is the identity matrix. So I got to solve for this A inverse. To find the inverse matrix, we solve the equation above by this augmented matrix and using our REF. Okay. Now there's a long proof of, to why this, this works. Um, I can go over that with you one-on-one -on -one if you would really like to know. Uh, but it's kind of long and confusing. Because we've, we've talked about um, RREF, or we've talked about augmented matrices, and we've talked about setting it into a matrix equation. So now we're just kind of combining all those items together. Um, so let's let's find the inverse of this. Okay. So I need to set it up as an augmented matrix. And we got one, three, two, and five. And the identity will be a, a I, it will be I2, this is the two by two matrix. Okay. Now remember, this must be um, a square matrix. So then we need to preform um, the RREF on this.
And in order to do the RREF, um, my top left number has to be a zero, or a one, which it is. So then row two needs to be a zero. So row two needs to change. I must subtract three row one and put it back into row two. Now we're trying to get this basically to become the identity, and this will be my inverse over here. So this will be a inverse. Um, so row one is not changing. One, two, one, zero. This becomes zero. You got five minus uh, six, which is one. And then you've got oh, five minus six minus one. And then you've got zero minus three, which is minus three. And you got one minus zero, which is one. Okay. Now this needs to become a one. So we'll, we'll take negative R2 and put it back in R2. We got one, two, one, zero, and zero, one, three, minus one. All right, so that's a one, so this needs to become a zero. So row one needs to change. We're going to minus two, row two, put it back into row one. So row two is not changing. Okay, so I got row one minus, so one minus zero is one. Two minus two is zero. One minus six is minus five. And then zero minus negative two is two. Okay, so in this case, I'm, I'm now in R, R, E, F, A inverse is minus five, three, two, minus one. Your solution. Now, we could check this, um, but I believe that was the same matrix that we checked on the last slide. Um, and it did work out. So there's a formula for, for two by two, but this only works for two by two. Okay, so if you have this a matrix here, so that's A, you got A, B, C, D. To find the inverse, you're gonna perform this, this formula on it. So you got one over A, D minus B, C, and that's just the, de the determinant of it. And then you kind of switch these, the order of this round. Okay, so this is A, B, C, D. Okay, so A inverse will be 1 over, that's 5, remember that's just a determinant here, it's 5 and 6, 5 minus 6, and you got D, which is 5, so we're going to, we're switching around this order here, and making some of them the opposite sign. So then you got you got one over negative one, which is minus one, five minus three, minus two, one. So then you just distribute that negative one in, which is why we get this, negative one, which again is the, the matrix that we've kind of been dealing with a little bit. So find the inverse, so we're going to look at the inverse two different ways here. Uh, let's go back to the RREF. So I'll take this and I'll put it in my augmented matrix. Okay. I've got a one in the, the top left here, so this bottom one's got to be zero, so R2's got to change. We're just going to simply add row one back to row two. The row one is good. So this is negative one plus one is zero. 
5 plus negative 5 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. Okay. Well, now I'm, I'm done. i got to stop because these are zeros here. But notice, or what do you notice about this row right here? Well, this would say 0 plus 0 equals numbers. So 0 equals numbers. That can't happen. So there's no inverse. Now let's look at a formula here. If we just go ahead and find that, find this part, this determinant. Okay. Um, so we'll take one minus one minus five five. We'll kind of take AD, which is 5, and BC, which is 5, and then you take bottom minus top, you get 0. So in this formula, you got 1 over 0 times this, this matrix. But 1 over 0 is undefined, because you can't divide by 0, so that tells you uh, there's no inverse. So if this equals zero, uh, then you've got no inverse. Okay, uh, find the inverse. So there's no no formula here for this one. Uh, so we just so we'll have to go back to our. R R E F. So I'm going to use I three. Okay, and I'm going to try to make it the identity here. So row one is good. So now we need to change row three. We'll take row three plus row one and put it back into row three. So row one is good. And in fact, row two is good. And then you got row three plus row one. So that's negative one plus one is zero. Uh, zero plus two is two. Negative two plus negative one is negative three. Zero plus one is one. Zero plus zero is zero. And one plus zero is one. Okay, so my first column is good. Uh, second column, I got a one here. So remember, our, zero, our diagonal is trying to be one. So then I got to change row one. I will take minus two row two back into row one. And I'll take row three minus two row two back into row one. Or sorry, row three. So then what we have here is row two is not changing. Zero, one, zero. So row one minus double row two. So one minus zero is one. Two minus two is zero. Negative one minus negative two is one. Sorry, and then um, one minus uh, zero is one, and zero minus two is minus two, zero minus zero is zero. Then row three minus double row two, so that's zero minus zero is zero. Two minus two is zero. Negative three minus uh, negative two is negative one. 
1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay. So my second column is good now. Okay. So I want uh, this to be a 1 and these to be zeros. So let's just take negative row 3 and put it in row 3. I've got one zero 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 one zero one minus one and these signs will change so one minus one two minus one the rest of the numbers will stay the same so one zero negative two one zero zero So now these these two up here need to become zero. So row one's got to change. We'll subtract row three, put it back into row one. Row two's got to change, and we'll just we'll just add it to row three and put it back into row two. So row three is good. Zero, zero, one, minus one, two, minus one. So row one is one, zero, zero. So it's row one minus row three, so it's one minus one. It's one minus negative one is two. Uh, negative two minus two minus four. Zero minus negative one is one. And then row two plus row three, so it's zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. Negative one plus one is zero. Zero plus negative one is negative one. One plus two is three. Zero plus negative one is negative one. So my, let's see what that means, B. So B inverse is now two minus one minus one. Minus four, three, two, one, minus one, minus one. So now I would check. So check. Uh, I take B times B inverse, and get an identity, and B inverse times B is also an identity. So that's something that uh, maybe you can. And, uh, check here on your own. Um, so solve the system of equations. Okay, this is kind of our our goal with this lesson was to solve a system of equations. So so this is what we're solving for. So if I take this into the matrix equations here. I get one, 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 zero, minus one, 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 minus one. If your coefficient matrix, then you get your variable matrix, so x, y, z. And then you've got your, your solutions here. So two, one. Now, I want x, y, and z all by itself. I want this all by itself. So in order to do that, i got to take the inverse of a. Okay, so x equals a inverse times b. I know what b is. Now I need to find the inverse of this right here. So again, we'll set up our augmented matrix. It's an I3, because it's a 3 by 3. Uh, maybe if you want to pause the video and see if you can uh, maybe do it on your own, and then you catch back up and you can see the answer here in just a little bit. Okay, so 
Um, I got a one in the in the top left, which is good. So these two need to become zero. So that's R two minus R one back into R two, and that's row three minus row one back into row three. Okay, so row one is not changing. It's one, 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 zero, zero. Okay, so it's row two minus row one. So one minus one is zero. Zero minus one is minus one. One minus one is zero. Zero minus one is minus one. One minus zero is one. And zero minus zero is zero. It's a zero and six. Okay, and row three minus row one is one minus one is zero. Negative one minus one is minus two. Negative one minus one is minus two. Zero minus one is minus one. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus zero is one. Um, so then I want um, I want this to become a one. So we just need to change the sign to negative row two back into row two. Next one, I got a little bit bigger. So it's one, zero, zero. One, 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 zero, zero. It's one, zero, because I'm changing the sign of every element in that row and down um, maybe two maybe two eight one zero one so now that i've got my one there i've got to have a zero here a zero there and a zero there so row one needs to change and we're going to subtract row two back into row one and row three needs to change. We're going to add double row two. Put it back to row three. So then row two is not going to change. That's zero, one, zero, one, minus one, zero. So that's row one minus row two. So one minus zero is one. 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is uh, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus negative 1 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0. And then we've got row 3 plus 2, row 2. So 0 plus 0 is 0, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. You've got negative 1 plus 2 is 1. You've got 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And 1 plus 0 is 1. Okay, so we're almost there. So we've got first and second columns taken care of. This needs to become a, um, a 1. So we'll take negative a half row two, sorry, row three, and put it back into row three. With one, zero, zero. Zero, one, zero. One, zero, one. Let's go ahead and write the ones that aren't changing here. One minus one. Zero, and this is negative a half, one, negative a half. Okay, so make sure we're comfortable with some fractions here. Okay, so now um, I got my one, this has to become a zero. So row one needs to change, or since we're going to subtract row three, we're back into row one. Okay, so let's with the ones that are not changing, so zero, zero, one, minus a half, one, minus a half, 
verb two is not changing. And row one, we're taking row one minus row three. So that's one minus zero is one. Two minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. Zero minus negative a half is a half. One minus one is zero. Zero minus negative a half is a half. So this, this matrix right here is now the inverse of it. So remember before, if we scroll back up here, I needed x equals a inverse times b. So x equals a inverse times b. So if we take that multiplication, we've got a inverse, which is a half, zero, a half, one, minus one, zero, and minus a half, one, minus a half. Uh, let's see what b is. b was two, one, minus four, two, one, minus four, and then we do the multiplication. We've got, let's see, there, there, and there. So we've got two times a half, which is one, plus zero, minus two, which is minus one. We've got two, minus one, plus zero, one. And we have negative one plus one plus two, two. So again, this corresponds with this matrix is your X matrix, which is X, Y, and Z. So in this case, X is minus one, Y is one, Z is two. And there's your solution. That was the goal here. Now, kind of a, um, a fun little addition to this is cryptography. Uh, cryptography is the process or the practice of hiding information or secret communication. Let's assume that you want to send your ATM PIN code over the internet, but you don't want hackers uh, to be able to retrieve it. You can represent the PIN code in a matrix and then multiply that PIN matrix by a key. That's important, a key matrix, so that it is encrypted. If the person you sent it to has the inverse matrix key, they can multiply the encrypted matrix they receive by the inverse key, and the result will be the original matrix. Although pin numbers are typically four digits, we'll assume two digits to illustrate this. Okay. So let's say my pin is 13. So my pin is 13. So I've got this 13. Okay. That's my pin. And I've got some key here. Now, just for um, time wise, let's use um, let's use this key right here. Let's use one, two, three, five. Okay. And then I've got some encrypted code here. But I, I'll have an encryption. So to find E, we will take uh, P times my key to get the encryption. If we do that here, so we've got one, three, and then one, three, two, and five. So we do the multiplication here and here. So that's one plus six, that's seven. That's three plus 15, that's 18. So the encrypted code is seven, 18. So that is what I'm sending, say over here. So sending that and okay. 
and usually you send them in in separate files or or what whatever that way they don't have both at the same time It'd be easier to hack that way um, so now now here I know what I know what E is E is 7 18 and I want to know what what was the original pin I'm looking for P, Remember PK equals E. Okay, so this is my matrix equation. I gotta solve it for P here. Well, in order to do that, I gotta find the inverse of K. Now, we did this matrix earlier, okay, the inverse of this K. You could also do the formula if you wanted, since it's a two by two. So K inverse, we found uh, to be minus five, three, two, minus one. And then I need to multiply those two together. So we will take um, E times K inverse. Now watch the multiplication because the order does matter. I could not do this uh, the other way around. Okay, so multiply and multiply. Um, we'll get what's this? Uh, Thirty-six minus uh, thirty-five, which is one. Negative eighteen and twenty-one, which is three. Which is our original thing. Uh, so we can do this with tons of, of different coded messages, sentences, paragraphs, and in fact, uh, in World War II, uh, this was this is a very basic sim uh, sample of encryption, but that's kind of the the key thing during that uh, World War II uh, that helped us win. Um, okay, so here are your suggested problems: sixty-seven being your your challenge problem for this unit. Uh, try them out. If you got questions, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to help um, uh, help you before you know, your quiz. Thanks for watching.